hi, this is Andrea and John, and we're cooking a black chicken today. That's right, black. So a couple weeks ago, we made a post about black chicken, and we were showing some of the internal organs, how black they are, and there was a lot of interest. And so we decided, hey, let's cook one, because a lot of you asked, what does it taste like? Now it's supposed to taste like regular chicken, but hey, we've not had one, so we're gonna we're gonna eat it for you. How about that? There are six breeds that have something called fibromelanosis, and that just tends to make everything black. The, you can see the skin; it's not totally black, but it's very gray. The meat is sort of gray. The organs they're all black. The breeds that Americans know about are the A.M. Samani and the Silky. There are some other lesser knowns, the Kadaknath, the Svarthona, the Hamung, and the Ulikba chicken. Now those are the purebreds, but this actually that I am fixing right now is from something called a Black Diamond, which is a hybrid between an A.M. Samani and a silky. The black chicken is prized by the Asian community for being very vitamin rich. It has B1, B2, B6, B12, some E, which prevents blood clots. Uh, it supports heart health, promotes better skin, cellular energy. It's high in antioxidants and it's often used post-pregnancy and after surgery to improve blood and reduce fatigue. So she's doing a simple rub. She's just got some poultry seasoning, salt and pepper, cayenne and garlic. We're gonna cook it to 165 in a 300 degree oven. So it'll probably take a couple hours. When we showed a picture of the meat before, a lot of you responded with vomit emojis uh, because you didn't think it's very appetizing to eat gray meat. But we're gonna eat that for you and let you know how it tastes. It almost looks like it's burned, but we know it's black. And then this actually turned out a little bit lighter. Very interesting. So, so we'll see what we got here. Andrew's gonna cut into it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. My my black chicken turned white in the cooking process. No, well, it's it's still that... kind of a grayish. You can clearly see as I pull down yep. and get towards the bone here. Oh, well, there's the black that, bone. That's the black bone. So the meat did start off dark, but somehow it cooked and turned into white. There's quite a bit of fat in the pan, uh, which you'll get that with store-bought chickens because they put a whole bunch of solution in there, but there's nothing in there. That's good stuff. Yeah, that's just good chicken fat. Hmm. Mm. What do you think? That's like, good. Tastes like chicken? It does. It tastes like delicious chicken. Does it taste gray and black? No, <laughs> it doesn't taste gross at all. <laughs> it's just very interesting to look at the black bones <laughs> on the chicken. Oh, look at, you can see some of the black. No, oh, still in it. Yep. It's not completely white. Okay, here's a leg. Yep. So you can see down in there, there's bone. There's definitely black in the meat still. Definitely darker than regular dark meat, I think. Mm. It's delicious chicken. Really delicious. That's good. Mm. Very tender. Mm -hmm. Sheila, you know who you are. You got a black chicken specifically to make Halloween dinner with. Yes. We want to see a picture of that. <laughs> <laughs> I hope everybody that got black chickens are, are enjoying them. No difference so. in taste, but they just look a little odd. Uh, they definitely made a good, I mean, I'm going to save this down here. Mm, got some chicken gravy right there. That Thanks for joining good. us on our culinary adventure of black chicken. They're hard to find. We don't have them very often. Usually if we do, it's because somebody dropped off a black chicken. We do have some roaming our yard though now, so we'll see what happens with the... Uh, breeding next year. We do have other meats. We have the regular chicken. We have some rabbits, quail. If you ever do see us advertising black chicken, don't be hesitant. Just snap it up. Because it'll go fast. Yeah, especially if you just had a baby, it'll be good for you. <laughs> Not planning on having a baby soon. <laughs> or, or surgery. No, I don't plan on having that soon either. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you later on the homestead. Bye everyone. Bye. <laughs>